Flippy, I hardly know I'd like to do a Flippy. Sheesh! Well, hey kids, welcome to Bally Shorts, the only show where we put the ballys into our shorts. No! If you guys remember last time on the uh, Bally Shorts, we talked about the Tay Flipper, and that was pretty cool because it's made of plastic. And you know what else is made of plastic? The Cycloid. The Cycloid is a very exciting new Bally song from... <gasps> Zippy, Zippy Bala song on Instagram. They also made this, you might've seen this before. This is the zipper. Now the zipper is discontinued at the moment, but Zippy is currently working on a V2. So we will get that and review it when the time comes. It's, it's, so it's crazy, it looks so good. But for now, these are the cycloid. So the idea of plastic bala songs has existed for a while now because of Squid Industries. They came out with the Squiddy back in the day and that has inspired a myriad of creators now that 3D printing has become accessible. And so you have stuff like the tape flipper and the zipper and finally the cycloid, which is what we're checking out today. You know what I want to cycle into is talking about our merch. Oh, hat, bag, shirt, yeah. cup. It's Brandon proof. I wouldn't say that. So first we're gonna get into the unboxing experience. Now, if you remember our Squiddy review, link right there, the Squiddy comes in a box and then it's got a cute little bag that goes around the Squiddy and Squid Industries standard unboxing experience. Well, the Cycloid is similar to that, but it skips the box part entirely and instead has this really nice, honestly, Zippy Balasong branded bag. Inside of there, you will find your Cycloid, nice and pretty, nestled away, and a little tool. This little tool is just a little hex wrench and it is what is used to adjust the pivots on the cycloid. And unlike the bad one that comes with the cheap Amazon stuff, this one's actually really good. We give it a standard five out of 10, which is normal. Moving right along. All right, so next up is tuning. And honestly, it's a category that I was really impressed with this thing with. Zippy has done a lot of research to figure out exactly how the tuning process here should work. You see, Zippy got started making Bala songs specifically because of how much they hated Threadlocker. They didn't want to have to use anything like Threadlocker Blue or Red or Teflon Tape or any of that crap. Instead, they wanted to design something where you didn't need it. And I'd say they succeeded. You see, this balisong is built with nuts that are press fit in that have nylock technology. This is a special technology that is built into the nut itself that essentially reduces vibration and allows the thread to stay locked into the nut. The upshot of this is that you almost never have to adjust your balisong once you've got it tuned. And the tuning part is actually very easy as well. You can use the little tool to adjust the pivots as needed, but also the pivots are knurled on the sides, meaning it's actually relatively easy to grab them with your fingers and adjust them even when you don't have the tool. And this is especially important for when you're out and about flipping and if it starts to loosen, you can just tighten it with your fingers or your fingernails. It's honestly a shockingly good experience. Oh, and did I mention that it runs on bearings? That's right, there's actually bearings inside side of here that allow the knife to swing very freely, even though it's a very light weight. And so without that, if it was on something like washers, like the Tay Flipper, it honestly would probably be a really slow and difficult to tune experience, but those bearings help a lot. Even though it is plastic and you're never really gonna be able to tune the tap out of it because of the uh, flexibility of the plastic, it's still really, really good for a tuning experience. And so because of that, we give it a seven out of 10, which is shocking for a plastic balisong. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you feel comfortable with giving me. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you have wondered, well, it's made out of plastic, so it can't be that durable, right? Au contraire, mon tri. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even ready for that. You got halfway through that and you're like, what the fuck am I up to? <laughs> You see, Zipper has actually demonstrated the durability of these things a fair bit. This is PETG plastic, which is slightly ahead of the PLA Plus that's used in the Tay Flipper. It's a little bit more flexible, which means it's a little bit stronger altogether. There's actually video on Zippy's like Instagram of him taking the blade and just hitting it 
into concrete over and over and it just kind of dents it a little bit. It never snaps, it never breaks. Honestly, the durability of this thing is easily on par with the Tate Flipper, which we have shown is very good. It's a little bit ahead though of the Squiddy, which as we've talked about before, can shatter. It's not super often, and it's something that happened in the older Squiddy models more than it happens in the newer ones. Whereas with this, the flexibility of this material means that it will not shatter. Whereas with the Squiddy, I get a little bit hesitant when I start to flex the blade too much. And so, because of all of those factors, we give the durability of this guy a five out of 10, which is pretty damn good for plastic because before that we were hesitant to give anything made of plastic above a four. performance of this thing is a bit of a stumbling point for me. It is very surprising when you start flipping it. You're like, oh wow, I didn't expect something 3D printed could feel that good. It's not great. And the reason for this is specifically the weight isn't great. It's a bit of a light weight that's not too great. The weight really could, it's light. And well, that impacts the performance a fair bit. Oh wow, that's that's substantially different. While it does do shockingly well in most tricks like fanning and even aerials, the problem is because it's so light, it'll slip out of your hands or will kind of stumble in the middle of a trick. This is helped though, because there are weights both in the blade and then at the end of each one of these handles, which can be adjusted, though it only makes it lighter. So I'm not sure why you would do that. Either way, because of the weights being at the end of the handles, it does help to carry the momentum a little bit. But me and Brandon did decide that it flips slightly less as good as a squiddy. It doesn't feel as substantial in the hand as this does, or even as the zipper did, or as the tay flipper did. It's just light, and it, yeah. it you feel that a lot. It has stuff like the bite handle marker, which is great mm. and very obvious, and boy, do you know whenever it's hitting your yeah, finger. Yeah, the bite handle marker is great. It does have a good grip. The grip yeah, on the it grip is Yeah, the grip is great. It has the jimping and all that, and so for learning stuff, I could see myself being able to do that, but having that transfer to other ballast songs mm -hmm. with how light this is, yeah, it's, it's not fine. bad by any means. It's actually a very good experience. Yeah. It's just light. Yeah, a little bit average. I think that's gonna make it a what? Five, a five out of 10? Five. Oh my God, is that average? Oh, I'll show you a five average. <laughs> I don't know about that one. All right, I hear you. You're like, hey, Will, I really want to buy one, but how available are they? Well, let's talk about the availability. Zippy has done a really good job of trying to keep all of them in stock as often as possible and is constantly printing new parts to make sure that he has them available if you order one. Therefore, we've given the availability a solid eight out of 10 as the promise shown from Zippy is pretty high. Once again, this is a similar situation to Tay where they are new to the Balasong community as a maker, but they seem pretty reliable. And if it changes in the future, we'll make sure to update the Balasong list. Of course, our availability score is based off of how easy it is to get them in North America where we live because our worldview is very small and we don't know anything. We don't know anything. We're Americans. <laughs> So if you do live in another country, you can order these, but the shipping will obviously be more expensive. But it is good to know that they are available internationally. This is the hardest score for us to come up with. It's honestly really difficult every time we do this because value is a, it's a hard thing to judge. If you consider it at the end of the day, same thing we said with the Tay Flipper. It's being made by one person. It's a, you know, there's a lot of work going into these. They've got weights that are put into each one of the handles. The design takes a lot of effort. You put a lot of time into this ball bearing tuning system. Like the zipper has this like super cool sandwich design. Same sort of thing is going on with the cycloid. And so even though it is $69 nice. for a plastic ballast song, this thing is 
shockingly good value, and that's just because of the nature of it being made by one single person. Therefore, we give the value score of the Cycloid to be a 7 out of 10. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You'd be blown away to learn how much actual time it takes to make that kind of stuff. And we think it's really neat, yep. especially having flipped as many battle songs that we have. And for 70 bucks, I'd buy it. It's cool, it's neat. There's a bunch of colors too. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy you for a dollar. Oh. Is that too much? Is that a proper exchange rate? That's just right. What are you worth? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>Welcome to the final score of the video. This knife has scored a 37 out of 60 possible points, which is honestly pretty good. It's only one point lower than the Squiddy itself. And that's only because the Squiddy has an availability score of 10 because it's literally always available. And so the Cycloid actually scores a little higher than the Squiddy in a few key categories. Therefore, I think it's very important to recognize how nice this thing is and how excited we are for what Zippy does in the future. The Zipper V2 is gonna be really it's stinking crazy. cool. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm so excited for it. The Zipper by itself is already a very, like, impressive ballast song and the Cycloid is no different. Once you kind of get past these, like, weird, you know, ball bearings that you gotta, that you gotta touch in there. I think once he works that out, it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, you hate touching balls. Yeah. I wanna give a big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters for giving us money so that we can buy money, so we can use money to buy money, to buy things, to buy ballast songs. Tiers start at just three bucks a month and one $3 supporter gives us more money in a month than a thousand views on one of our videos. So it's actually kind of shocking how much impact you have just by donating at the lowest tier. So thank you once again to all of our incredible supporters. You guys really make this possible. Supporters get early access to videos like these. And talk directly to us. Wow. Ask us questions. Talk to us on the Discord. What's your favorite kind of frog? We'll tell you our favorite frog, but you don't get to know that for free. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the moment. Stay tuned next time for when we take a look at the Morse by the horse. And by horse, I mean the ballys. It'd be crazy if we have really cool videos coming up that you should definitely also watch, like maybe literally my new personal favorite ballad song. Where did you come from? Your mom. Oh, got him. <laughs>